Hi, my name is Colin Rundqvist and I work as laboratory engineer at ANDOS. I will show you some of our quality control tasks to ensure ESD and ATEX approval. Now I will show you how the ESD tests are performed. First, the CAFE method, meaning contact area and force electrode. It measures the electrical resistance between the electrode balancing on the finger and the wrist strap. The resistance should be equal to or lower than 1 giga ohm. A higher resistance would lead to a large risk of electrostatic discharge, which can damage the electronic components. Here are the steps in the measurement. I put on the wrist strap and the glove on the same arm. I balance the electrode with the weight on each finger one at a time. I press test and register the measurement. To pass the test, the resistance cannot be higher than 1 giga ohm. The second ESD test is to measure the electrostatic potential. ESD gloves must not accumulate and keep electrostatic voltage higher than 100 volts when measuring 2 cm from the surface. Here are the steps in the measurement. I turn on the electrostatic field measuring device. The glove is placed on the grounded tabletop. I touch with hand or cloth on the glove. I wait two seconds. Then I place the electrostatic field device over the glove and measure the electrostatic tension. To pass the test, the glove should not accumulate more than 100 volts. If it does, this means that the potential difference between the electronic component and the glove becomes too large and an electrostatic discharge can be created and damage the electronics. And now to the ATEX test. The method is called the vertical resistance test. It measures the electrical resistance through the material. The vertical resistance should be equal to or lower than 100 mega ohm. This is important to ensure personal safety when handling explosive materials such as powder and gas. Here are the steps in the measurement. First, I place the material on the bottom electrode. Then I place the top electrode on the material. Now I place the weight on the top electrode, press test and register the measurement. Five measurements for each material or material combination is performed. To pass the test, the resistance cannot be higher than 100 mega ohm. This is how we work when we develop new products and ensure quality for the highest safety. Thank you for watching and welcome back.